nutty? Jeez. Roll call on a fucking Ferrari. <laughs> what a fucking dick. <laughs> roll call on a fucking Ferrari. But that's crazy. So now I'm going to take this off. We got one bolt up there. That's the only way I mounted it. It was the only way it was going to fit for some reason, even though it's advertised as three. Oh yeah, I got two of them actually. I took one of them out, so I'm going to unscrew those. It's a 10 mil up here. Oops. Got her done. There's that. Holy crap, man. You would think that this was a diesel. Look at this. I'm going to take a clean side of this rag. Oh my gosh. It's so much carbon right there. Look at this. Some building up on right there. I had to cut a little bit for this tip, but yeah, it's pretty gross. <laughs> but this time we're gonna do a gloss black on it's gonna be freaking sick let's do that now we still have some daylight and yeah I'm gonna time lapse it and I'm also gonna paint that tip a little bit because there was a little bit of scratching so we're gonna take care of that still drying but here she is looking nice and gloss black but still it's just a bit too small and of course the mounting brackets are way too big so that's that then down here here's the finished product gloss black exhaust pipe there is some over there is some uh spots that are i could touch up on again but that's going to be covered and i went all the way up and now it looks like whirly fab exhaust and then i also took care of the trailer hitch got that nice and gloss black there we go out of the three you guys pick which one should go on the blue truck for a very extended period of time possibly permanently eeny meeny miny mo. All right, guys, so I just want to let you know that I did pay about 30 bucks for this. I know a lot of name brand ones can go like 50, 60, 70. And of course, if you go to those giant ass ones, like five to eight exhaust tips, well, then you're going to be spending over like 100 bucks up to 150. Some of them even like 200 bucks. So it's crazy. But this one's non name brand. But as you can see, got like that hole right there where it drips on the sure. And uh, the build quality is pretty good. Look at that. Very nice finish. They got the inside as well, it's curved right into here and it's like really thick metal you can feel it's pretty heavy and the welds look great on the edge there check that out and it doesn't look bent at all it came very quickly as well got online so i think it's a it's a really nice tip there and to mount it you can either get a weldable version which is like five bucks cheaper or get the one that you can just bolt and then eventually i am going to go get this welded at the local diesel shop so i'll bring you guys along for that but we'll just throw this on now I have an Allen key right here. It's a pretty big one. I honestly, I didn't think I had a size, but I found one that's the perfect size. No measurement on it, but you're gonna need a big one. Just remember that, because uh, the screw on this, it's pretty good, it's pretty big, but that's what you want. You want it to be able to hold. Now you may be saying you should have went with something like a Flowmaster or Magnaflow. I mean, I used to have a Flowmaster one and the bracket was like, uh, it was shot. The weld was terrible, so there you go. Hopefully this no brand exhaust tip uh it just holds up and doesn't <laughs> 